Hello, this is Jeff Johnson with PowerMation. In this video, we're going to continue our discussion with the radar-based safety solution by Inspect. We're going to examine the software and provide an example of how to configure a basic system. With a quick review of the previous video of the Inspect LBK system, we went into the details of the primary safety function, which was access detection and restart prevention. We discussed the system architecture for the LBK controller, the details of the controller functionality and sensor functionality, and some of the advantages of the radar-based safety systems was also discussed. So in this segment, we'll take a closer look at how to use the software to configure a basic system. The software was designed to perform the following functions. Configure the LBK system functional parameters, allows for the proper configuration and orientation of each sensor required to protect the defined hazardous area. You can print and document the configuration report, provides the ability to download system log files for record purposes, and it can be used as a validation tool to verify the field of vision. We're going to be configuring an LBK C22 controller with two LBK S01 sensors. Before we get started though, we'll need to download the USB driver and the software for the LBK controller. The Inspect Safety application can be downloaded for free and can be used in both Microsoft Windows and Mac OS operating systems. Once the driver and software is downloaded, it's important to note that the software can only be used while your computer is connected to a powered LBK C22 controller through a standard USB to micro USB cable. Once connected to the controller, we can run the Inspect Safety application. The dashboard opens and provides an overview of the system status, showing the status of the controller along with the number and status of the connected sensors. There's a summary of the digital I.O. configuration as well. The top bar allows for the selection of the main pages within the software. Configuration tab is where the sensors are added and configured for the safety application. Validation tab, this is where the user can validate the LBK system with the ability to check in real time the distance of the target seen by the sensors. The maintenance tab provides feedback on the overall health of the system. And in the settings tab, under general, allows for firmware updates for both the controller and the sensors. Under sensors, this is where the sensor sensitivity are configured. Note assignments, this is where a unique ID number is assigned to each sensor. Digital input and output is where the inputs and outputs for the controller are configured. Muting, this is where groups uh, can be configured to allow for selective muting if required. And then under active history is where you can download diagnostic logs, configuration reports, and the maintenance report page as well. To get started, we'll need to log into the system. The login button is on the upper right hand side. With a new system, we'll need to create a password. Once a password has been created, we can start the configuration process. For this demonstration, we're going to create a simple system utilizing two sensors. We need to first tell the controller how many sensors we'll have in the safety system. The number of sensors is defined in the configuration. By default, one sensor is already predefined. We can add additional sensors by clicking on the Add Sensors button. In this case, we need to add one more sensor. From here, we can adjust and change the settings to meet the requirements of the safety application. Simply select the desired sensors that needs to be modified with the left mouse click. On the right hand side, we can adjust the length of the protective field and warning field. Rotation can be controlled manually by selecting the desired sensor and rotating to desired angle. Manually entering the rotation angle can be done here. We previously discussed that the field of view can be configured for 11030 or 5015. By default, it is configured for 11030. To change a field of view to 5015, simply change the selection from 110 to 50 here. The inclination angle and height can be changed by entering the desired angle and height required for the application. A nice feature worth pointing out is the ability to import an image or drawing file into the configuration. The image can be a simple JPEG or DXF file. The software provides the ability to properly scale the drawing, which will be important for good representation of the sensor's field of view. This can be a good reference tool to identify how many sensors may be needed, positioned, and configured to provide adequate coverage for the area to be protected. 
An example using this feature may look something like this. For the two sensor application, let's take it one step further and show how the inspect system could potentially be interfaced to a Doosan collaborative robot to provide reduced speed, access detection, and restart prevention. We're going to assume that three sides of the robot are protected with power mission fencing, and only the front requires operator access for collaborative interaction. It was determined through risk assessment that we want the robot to go to reduced speed at 50 inches, and the safe stop distance was determined to be 30 inches from the center of the robot frame. In the configuration page of the inspect software, we're going to upload the image file, position, and properly scale as required. Select add sensor and position as needed. Adjust field of view settings for the appropriate coverage of the stop and warning zone. For sensor number two, we are going to click the add sensor button and replicate the process. Once the appropriate settings have been entered, the sensor's field of view configurations are now complete. We are now ready to transfer these settings to the controller and can be done by clicking the apply changes. Once download is complete, a configuration port is generated, identifying the details of the configuration. This could be downloaded and saved for future reference. Because this is a new system, we need to set the sensor ID nodes. This is done in the settings tab under node ID. The ID nodes link each sensor to the controller with a unique ID number. Electric can connect sensor number one to the controller with the appropriate CAN bus cable and click assign node IDs. Once the sensor number has been assigned an ID number, connect sensor number two with the appropriate CAN bus cable to sensor number one and follow the to sensor number two. Once completed, both sensors will now have a unique node ID number. The final item to be configured for this application is the I.O. This is done by clicking digital input output tabs in settings. If we wanted to use manual restart or provide muting capabilities, those input options are set here. For this configuration though, we're going to use auto restart. For the outputs, we're gonna set output one to be enabled when there's motion detected in the pre-alarm area, and output number two to be enabled when there's a system fault. We click apply changes to load these final settings into the controller. Once downloaded, the configuration report is updated, reflecting the changes made. If we go to the dashboard, we can see that the system status now reflects that the controller and two sensors have been successfully added and connected to the controller. The configured outputs are shown in the digital I.O. This is confirmation that your controller and sensors are properly functioning and that the configuration download was successful. Going to the validation screen and starting the validation process is an important tool to verify system configuration and sensor field of view settings meets your expectations of providing the necessary coverage of the area being protected. Hopefully this tutorial gives you a good idea on how to set up and configure the Inspect LBK radar based safety system. Thanks for tuning in to PowerMation YouTube and please contact your PowerMation representative for any additional information.